Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a winter project and this project is going to be crystal fruit wine. I will be going through the whole season of winter and trying to harvest and grow as many crystal fruit as possible and then I'm going to turn it into crystal fruit wine. It's not the most valuable item in this game but it is a good source of making money and I want to see how much money I can get within just one season, just in winter. So that is today's project guys. What we are going to do is we are going to need to go foraging. We're going to have to try and find some of the winter forage items such as the winter roots, the crystal fruits. Once we have got one of every ingredient, the winter root, crystal fruit, snow yam and crocus, we can turn this into a pack of wild winter seeds and then we can plant these into the ground and that gives us more chance to find crystal fruits. The whole progress through winter is trying to find as much crystal fruits as possible and then we can use maybe the next season, spring, to turn into the wine. So this is just a case of foraging, trying to find some of these items guys. Once we've got quite a few, we'll start crafting the recipe for the wild seeds and we can crack on with this winter project. If you guys are excited to see another project video, hit that thumbs up, let me know that you guys love to see these videos and hopefully we can get a decent harvest at the end of this and let's just put it to the test and see if crystal fruit wine is good for making money so as you can see, just digging up the worms and you can get some of these items, we've just found a snow yam so it is worth going out foraging and trying to find the little hearty fat worms as well because they will give you the ingredients that you need it's going to be quite a slow progress trying to find as much of these forage items as possible but once we've got a big amount we can start turning it into the wild seeds which we're going to get more and more of uh, it's just a case of spending a few days guys trying to find some of these items so i'll skip forward until we manage to find some of these items and i don't know why i haven't brought my horse i'm starting to regret this already Right guys, so we've spent a few hours around town trying to forage, we managed to get a few items, we've got two snow yams, we've got a crust, uh, winter root, and we couldn't find any crystal fruits or crocuses, but I think I do have some stored in a chest. As you can see guys, I've, I've already got 24 winter roots, 36 snow yams, 13 crocuses, and I do have some crystal fruits as well. This is obviously what I've been storing myself throughout the game I've been playing. So we can actually turn these items into some mixed seeds today so I'm gonna get these in the ground guys with some deluxe speed grow just to help this progress a little bit quicker because we're gonna need all the time we've got so I'm gonna till all this soil get it all prepared get the deluxe speed grow in the ground and then I'm gonna start putting the seeds into the soil guys and then it's just a case of waiting for these to grow let's see how many winter forage seeds we can get in the ground I'm not going to need this much room, so I'll put the deluxe speed. Let's see how many seeds we can craft first. So, you get 10 in the packet, so let's see how many we can get. We've got 130 already, and it's the crocuses that we're missing. So, we've still got plenty of other items. So, that's good. We've got 130. So, I'm going to get this deluxe speed grow in the ground, and I'll join you again once I've got the, the, the seeds into the ground, guys. So guys, we have got all of those into the ground. That's quite a lot already. I'm hoping we can try and get a lot of crystal fruits out of this. But obviously, the items we get from these winter seeds, we are going to be able to craft more winter seeds. So we can get a full field full of these. I'm going to give these a water. And then I'll join you once I'm done, guys. And it's just a case of skipping for some days, going out of foraging, waiting for these to, to grow. And then we can start you know, speeding up the progress and um, turning them into the wines. So I'll see you again shortly. Right guys, day one ended. I've got loads of winter seeds in the ground. I'm going to go to sleep. Speed up this progress and see if we can try and go out foraging in a couple more days. Uh, and I'll keep you updated with the progress later on. I have skipped through a few more days. We are currently on the 7th of winter. And our plants are ready to be harvested and collected. We've got quite a few crystal fruits there I see, which is really nice. So we're just going to quickly collect all this guys and then we're going to craft some more winter seeds and get some more in the ground straight away because obviously the more crystal fruits we get the more wine we can get. Now creating crystal fruit wine is quite profitable because you're obviously trading in four winter forage plants for a pack of ten seeds so you're getting an extra six on top of that. 
And obviously these forage plants are free, free to go around and collect. I've been harvesting a few more, I've been around the map and collected a few more. So this is all just profit, you're not spending no money, except for, obviously if you're doing what I'm doing, the deluxe speed grow. But you don't have to use the speed grow, I'm just doing this for the video's sake, just to speed things up a little bit. So you're not really spending much money, so this is going to be very profitable. This is why crystal fruit wine is really good. Unlike the ancient fruit and the star fruit wine, you have to spend quite a lot of money and go through a big long process before you actually start making your wine. So this is why I like creating crystal fruit wine and I recommend to do it every time winter comes around. Do this simple little tip that I'm doing, go around foraging for the winter plants, craft them into the seeds if you've unlocked the recipe and just try and turn it into as much crystal fruit wine as possible because it is quite valuable just to say it's a standard crystal fruit once it's turned into wine it is a lot more profitable and it will give you um, some really good money so that's the whole point of this video guys just to show you how profitable it can actually be without having to spend no money whatsoever because obviously winter's a time where you can't plant any other seed except for the winter forage seeds so it's a really good thing to do so we managed to get 380 seeds guys, that is a hell of a lot and we've left with 8 crystal fruits which is not good because we need them but after this harvest we should have loads of crystal fruit. So I'm going to quickly put the deluxe speed grow down like I said, you don't need to do this, I'm just doing this for the video's sake to speed things up so I can show you guys as much as possible because obviously deluxe speed grow is quite expensive to buy and it's quite uh, expensive to create yourself as well. So you don't really need this because you're still going to get a lot of crystal fruits at the end of this progress even without the speed grow because it doesn't take too long for the, the, the winter seeds to grow but I'm just doing this to speed things up so I can show you as quickly as possible how much it can actually make you so guys I'm going to put all these seeds into the ground give them a good water and then I'll skip for a few more days when the next batch is ready to be harvested and we'll see how many crystal fruits we can get because I'm going to start turning into wine after the next harvest that we get. So I'll quickly speed this up guys and I'll see you soon. Right guys, we've managed to get some more seeds in the ground. I've not really got enough room to put all of them in because I'm running out of iridium sprinklers as well which I need to craft some more. I can get some more in down this little row where I am but I just need two more iridium sprinklers because obviously I've got to try and think of the layout. And I've set this up quite wrong because this row where I'm running up and down now, the sprinkler can't reach. Uh, I messed up there so I need to try and sort that out maybe. I'm going to go to sleep for a few days guys, skip ahead until we've got all of these ready to be done as well and then we can start getting some wine. You're probably wondering why my money's jumped up quite a lot as well because I've gone up nearly like 2 million. It's because I've been selling some ancient fruit wine along the way whilst I was skipping through these days because that's my money source. I use ancient fruit wine because it's a good money source. So I'll see you in a few more days guys. It is the 28th of winter. We have skipped through so many days. You haven't missed much. I, all I have been doing is skipping through days, waiting for the winter seeds to grow. I've been collecting them, crafting more seeds, and just repeating that progress until we have eventually reached to the end of winter. It is the last day, and as you can see, we have got a hell of a lot of crystal fruits. We've got 315 normal quality, 225 silver and 107 gold. What I was doing guys is not only growing the crops just on this area, but I've also been growing them in my greenhouse as well. And also I, I used this area around the beehives. I cr I've grown quite a few winter seeds around there as well because I ended up with so many winter seeds but I didn't have much room to grow them. So I've been using as much area as I can and that is why I have ended up with a lot of crystal fruits. But I didn't want to bore you with too much detail so I skipped through quite a lot. And now what we are going to do is go into my sheds which are full of kegs and we are going to turn them into the crystal fruit wine. So as you can see, this is the one shed filled out. I know a lot of you guys have mentioned um, getting barns and filling them out with kegs instead because you can get more kegs in them, which is a good idea and I will be doing that uh, very shortly. But I have got three sheds full of kegs, so I thought, you know, I may as well just stick to this layout that I've got. But for now, guys, I'm just going to quickly get all these in the kegs. I don't think it takes too long for the crystal fruit to turn into its wine in the kegs, uh, which is pretty good, really. I'm not going to age the wine and turn it into an iridium quality, we're just going to sell all of this as a normal quality because it's going to take too long to do that. 
but I do actually have some iridium quality crystal fruit wine stored in uh, one of my chests actually at home so I will sell one just so you get an idea how much uh, the different qualities sell for as well so bear with me guys I will fill out all of my sheds this is my third shed guys I've got half preserved jars and half kegs in here so we don't have many kegs in this shed but at least it's some that we can actually put in here but what I'm going to actually do quickly is I'm going to fill out my empty barn with kegs so that way I can get the rest of these in there because if we just keep sticking to these three sheds it's going to take quite a long time to start getting the, the wine so we really do need that barn which you guys mentioned so I'm going to go and do that now I'm just going to double check to see if I've, I actually do have an empty barn actually so this is my empty barn, it is a deluxe, up, fully upgraded barn to the deluxe version. So we can get quite a lot of kegs in here. I don't know what layout we need to go for. Uh, I know there is actually some layout pictures and videos on the internet, but I'm not going to look into that guys. I'm going to try and create my own little design. I'm not too bothered about going for the most amount of kegs in this shed. This is just a little bonus barn that I've got. It's extra kegs for my wine, so that's all I'm bothered about. So don't slay me for if I've chose the wrong layout, because I'm not really bothered, to be honest, guys. So I'll quickly skip ahead. I'll try and fill out as much. I'll try and craft as many kegs as I possibly can and fill out this barn. And then I'll get back to you guys once I uh, finish that. Right, guys, I actually managed to fill out, I think, completely uh, this barn with all the kegs. I'm not sure if the layout's right. This is just what I did quickly. Uh, I probably could have got more in, uh, but to be honest, like I said, guys, I'm not too bothered. So what I'm going to quickly do is try and get as many of these crystal fruits into these kegs as possible so we can start getting some of this wine. I will skip through the days for you until we get to the first day when the wine is ready to be harvested, and we'll see how many we can get uh, for the first batch. And then we'll keep doing that all the way until spring ends, probably. It, well, until we've got rid of all these crystal fruits, basically. Uh, and then we'll sell a big uh, harvest of crystal fruit wine at the end. And I'll show you guys how much money it can make you if you did this simple little tip. Obviously, you guys might not have as many sheds or barns as me. And, you know, you might not be able to craft as many kegs as me. But it still gives you a rough idea how much the crystal fruit wine can sell for you. And how much money it can actually give you. Because... You guys can create as much crystal fruit as I have. All you have to do is do what I've done. Go foraging, turn the seeds into the wild seeds, plant them into your soil and just keep doing that all the way through winter. And you'll end up with tons of crystal fruit left over like I have. And then it's just a case of crafting kegs and just turning them into the wine guys. So I have skipped through a few more days, probably more than I should have. I know that this wine was done you know a few more days back but I have been making up a video so I had to skip through a few extra days to get that content out for you so this is the one shed what we'll do is we'll collect it all and then we'll check the other sheds and obviously the big barn as well and we'll see how much this first harvest can get us I'm a few days behind because this was probably done on the like on the third or fourth of spring but like I said I had to skip through a few more days um, to push another video out so I apologise for that, but let's just crack on. We've got 66 out of this shed, and we're probably going to get 66 out of this one as well. Well, we will, because it's the exact same layout. So that's the second shed done. If we go to this third shed down here, this has got half kegs, half preserved jars. So we've probably got 30-odd uh, or f maybe 40-odd in here. So we managed to get 35 out of that one. We're currently on 167, and now we've got to go to this big barn and get all of the crystal fruit wine out of this one. And look at this, it is absolutely jam-packed. Once I've collected all of these, I will chuck the rest of the crystal fruit that I've got into these kegs and we'll get some more and I'll skip, I'll probably skip through the days until I've used all of my crystal fruits and, you know, turn them into the wines because I've still got hundreds of crystal fruits left. Uh, so it's going to take a while to get every single one of them turned into the wine. I'm sure you guys don't want to see all of that so I just want to see how much we can get from one harvest and then this is probably gonna happen a few more times we get a rough idea how much we can work with so we got 290 crystal fruit wines in one harvest and we can do that again and again until we use them all up so I'm gonna go and chuck the rest of these crystal fruits that I have into the kegs guys in total i'll probably end up with like 700 crystal fruit wines once i've turned all the crystal fruits that i have left i might round up guys and just produce 999 crystal fruit wines by doing this i'll just use item spawner mod to finish the rest of it so we get a rough 
idea of selling 999 I was quite short sure. I'll probably be short by 100 or so but I can just spawn in uh, the rest of those to knock you up to 999 just so we get a rough idea how much you know 1000 can sell for it might be a little bit easier to work with than trying to work out how much you know 700 or something can sell for so that's what I'll probably do guys just to give us a bigger estimate and a better idea so I'll quickly put all these in and then I'll join you again in a few more days so it is the 18th of spring we have skipped through quite a lot of days we've got more harvest out of the the kegs i did have some extra crystal fruit in my fridge so i turned some of that into the wine as well and we was on like 820 in total so i have rounded it up to 999 guys just to give it a, a better figure it looks good and we'll, we can it's easier to work with so in my inventory we have 999 crystal fruit wine we grew from scratch 830 probably of that for ourselves and then we've just rounded up to 999 with the item spawner so i'm going to chuck this into the bin winter has ended but obviously the old winter progress was getting the the crystal fruits from the seeds and from the forage items and we just used spring some of spring to turn that into wine we could have started doing that in winter as well but i thought we'll just use the whole winter just to find the crystal fruits and we had quite a lot so i'm gonna sell those go to sleep and we'll see how much money crystal fruit wine can make us and there we have it 629,370 gold for 999 original quality crystal fruit wine now if we turn that into iridium quality we would have got double but that is a great way of making money guys because you don't need to spend money to make crystal fruit wine as long as you've got your kegs you are fine you can go foraging for the crystal fruits and the other forage plants you can craft the wild seeds once you've got one of the four ingredients and it's free money kind of all you need to do is go search for them and it's a great way of making money so every time winter hits this is the tip i do i try and my best to find crystal fruit because it's a great way of making money and it's extra money that you would never have in winter it's a good way to get through winter so i hope you guys have found this helpful hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'm gonna end it here this has been another project this has been the winter project the best way to get through winter if you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button show your support if there's any other kind of videos you want to see any other kind of projects you want me to do drop it in the comments and let me know and if you're new around here do not forget to subscribe to see more stardew valley videos but until then ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time bye bye <laughs>